I don't even know if that's recording. Okay, it is. Okay. Uh, one of the topics that one of my friends told me that I should post videos about is the fact that I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a health nut, okay? I'm really into do-it-yourself uh, treatments and recipes and stuff like that. So one of the things that I do the, uh, is that I, I make my own toothpaste. A lot of people are like, that's so weird. And it, I thought it was when I first heard about it. But now I, it's not that big a deal to me. It's just, it's just one of the other things that I do. I recently found out that you can make your own makeup. And I never heard of that before. That was kind of out of there. But I've been doing the do your own, do your own um, cleaners and stuff like that. And um, I decided I'm going to show you how I make my toothpaste coconut oil this is a huge jar of coconut oil or what I usually get like the jars but this stuff is awesome get organic extra virgin unrefined all that stuff um, and then I use turmeric turmeric um, organic of course Salt, sea salt. I have pink uh, Himalayan rock salt that I use sometimes. Um, I found blue Persian salt. Fancy. Um, cinnamon. I I rejarred a lot of my spices and I, I labeled them with their name. And I don't know if you can see it. Ah, cinnamon. And I put the expression date. Mom. Um, baking can soda. And then a dish to put it in. Yeah. And something to stir it with. This I'm I'm using Kaylin's mini fork because it's just put there. Uh, and then so coconut oil is 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 one of those. I mean, if you've never used it before, then you may not know. I didn't before I used it. Coconut oil. I think 76 degrees is the barrier. Up to 76 degrees, it's solid. You, um, I mean, it obviously gets softer, but it's pretty much solid until 76 degrees. After 76 degrees, it's li it's liquid, and it's just it, it's a very weird substance. So, uh, and that's right around room temperature. Sometimes, you know, if the sun's on you, it gets a little warmer. At night, it gets colder, obviously. So, my advice is don't use a tall, narrow container. Use a shallow. A wider container and I only I usually only make a little bit at a time because sometimes I I don't really use a recipe for per se I don't use amounts or anything like that um, I give people amounts but I don't really use them I just figure I use just about this much so um, <clears throat> so then you take a little bit of coconut oil and um, it when it solidifies and liquefies and really solidifies the spices and stuff will settle to the bottom so that's why I use a wide shallow container um, and then you just take your toothbrush and you just kind of brush it out and depending on the temperature sometimes you have to use the back of your toothbrush to like dig it out or if it's really liquid or really soft you can just use the bristles and kind of brush around the base so I use about Spoonful enough enough to enough coconut oil to cover the ba the bottom of whatever container you're using. Um, so usually about I don't know, I'd say a tablespoon or two, depending on the size of your container, obviously. So maybe a little bit more than that. I don't have a cameraman, so I can't try you. See. Like just enough to cover the bottom and then I would say about an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, your other ingredients order doesn't matter I've recently heard that cacao is a good uh, ingredient for toothpaste helps remineralize um, that's important if you have fluorosis from over overexposure to fluoride, like in your tap water.
So uh, the, fa the fact that I have turmeric in there, um, turmeric, turmeric, however you pronounce it, I never pronounce it the same way. Um, that's what makes mustard yellow. Okay, so it will it will look like it's going to turn your teeth yellow, but it is not. I mean, unless you're really bad at brushing your teeth and it sticks to the plaque on your teeth, which I don't even think that would happen. Your toothpaste will turn to a kind of a tan color. I use just about pretty much the same amount of every ingredient besides the coconut oil. And um, I want to say it tastes like salty oatmeal. I like it. You know, you may, may or may not. People say put a sweetener in there, but no, I don't. Cinnamon and turmeric are very uh, good natural anti-fungal, anti-antiseptic, you know, antiseptic, all that stuff. They're good for, you know, killing the vermin living in your mouth. Um, salt obviously kills germs. I don't have all my facts and statistics. I decided like two minutes ago that I was going to do this video. And it's like 6 p.m. and I forgot. So there you go, it looks like that. It just looks like a paste for now because it's kind of warm in here, I guess. But then overnight, it'll get hard and then I'll probably leave it on the windowsill in my bathroom so that it gets direct sunlight so that it'll flatten out. And, um,. That's just, you know, what happens. So, and, and one thing that I like about this is coconut oil is really good for your skin. So sometimes when I'm brushing my teeth, I'll get some coconut oil, like, left on my lips. And it's, if there's anything else in it, it's just the coconut oil that got, like, stuck on my toothbrush. Then that's good, as good as chapstick. And I don't have to worry about the fluoride or anything that's in the toothpaste. It just cleans my teeth, gets rid of bad breath. It's great. And then for, um... Mouthwash, you can use peroxide, you can use, peroxide is pretty much what I use. Um, and then in addition to oil pulling, also with coconut oil first thing in the morning, for like 15 to 10, 20 minutes, which I don't, I don't do, I don't have time for that, you know, so I don't even do it. But as you can see, my teeth are not good. I haven't even brushed them since this morning. They're obviously not as wide as my eyes. My eyes look really white. That's weird. Anyway, so I make my own toothpaste. Kind of crunchy. Not bad, I don't think. <laughs>